Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? Well, this your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on arguably the greatest fight of all time and two future Hall of Famers in this fight game. We have Turns T. Boy Crawford, the three division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, the current WBO Welterweight world champion. We have Earl the True Smith Jr., the king of the Welterweight division, WBC, the IBF, and the Super WBA unified world champion. And then we have Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fight of all time, the five division world champion, the man that helped revolutionize the boxing game. But we all know, ladies and gentlemen, that Earl the True Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford was supposed to take place November 19, 2022. November 19, 2022. But Terrence Bud Crawford ducked out of the fight. Terrence Bud Crawford made like he wanted the fight. And what I want Earl Spence to do is to tell Terrence Bud Crawford, Stop hiding behind Floyd Money Mayweather because we know he's advising you on the low and he got you running from me, dog. Yeah, yeah, I told y'all this before, man. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all this before. Earl the True Spence Jr., you know, wants the fight better than anything. Do it everything he had to do to make this fight happen. And he got backstabbed by Terrence Bud Crawford, the man who's listening to Floyd Money Mayweather. Thinking he go, you know, steal money from the PBC. And it's just not going to happen, bud. I say, bud, it's just not going to happen, bro. You know for a fact that you should have took this fight. You know for a fact that this fight was ready, it was hot, and you was going to make good money from this fight, bro. You was going to make more than $10 million, Turns Bud Crawford. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, sir. I repeat, Turns Bud Crawford. Yes, I'm talking to you, sir. Right? You know for a fact that Al Heyman, Steven Espinosa, Earl the True Spence Jr., they was treating you first. But it was you. It was you who fucked the fight up. It was you who was getting advised by Floyd Money Mayweather. And it was you that ran with the contract and went to sign another contract to fight David Albanesian for $10 million. You know what I'm saying? That you didn't get the 10 m because you got to pay tax and you got to pay your team. So whatever you got after that, after listening to this man right here, Floyd Money Mayweather. Yeah, after listening to Floyd Money Mayweather. We know about the relationship with Mayweather and Terrence Bud Crawford. They have a close relationship with one another. We all know Floyd Mayweather feels some type of way about Terrence Bud Crawford. You know, he feel like that he's the next Floyd Mayweather. He feel like he got all the skills in the world. He feel like he's the number one pound for pound fighting in the world. He feel like by Terrence Bud Crawford being with Bob Arm, getting messed over, that, you know what I'm saying, he want to help him out and put him in a position that he should be in. So he advised the turns Bill Crawford to stay away from the Earl Spence fight. Let it build up some more because he feel like it ain't ready yet. This is Floyd Mayweather, ladies and gentlemen, not us. Floyd feel like the fight ain't ready yet. And that if turns Bill Crawford hold out, he can make way more money against Earl Spence than what he would make, you know what I'm saying, fighting Earl Spence at this moment. <laughs> Which is straight bull crap. Pure bull crap. Floyd Mayweather think everybody is him and Manny Pacquiao, bro. Everyone is not Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, Floyd. Every fight can get drug out like that. Look at Wilder. Look at Anthony Joshua. You can't wait for every fight like that, bro. Not saying Earl Spence going to lose. Not saying Terrence Crawford is going to lose. It's just how long do the fans want to wait to see this fight? Understand what I'm saying? How long do the fans want to wait to see this fight, bro? That's what it's going to come down to. You know what I'm saying? Terrence Bud Crawford, he's jealous of the situation that Earl Spence is in. He's jealous that Earl Spence is the A-side, that Earl Spence has the fan base, that he has to sit back and watch Earl Spence control everything when he's used to controlling everything. You got to understand, Terrence Crawford is very competitive, ladies and gentlemen. He's very, very competitive. So when he's looking at Earl Spence and he's seeing Earl Spence in the position that Earl Spence is in, he feel like he want to take that position. He feel like it should be his position. He feel like that should be his position. Y'all see, every time he talk, he talk about his accolades. He talk about what he's already done in boxing. He talks about what Earl Spence is not. He talk about Earl Spence can't be a Hall of Famer right now after he retire. Oh, Earl Spence this. Oh, Earl Spence that. Who cares about Earl Spence? Kick you out the store for Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? Take your interview away if you talk about Earl Spence. Team Crawford is so jealous of Earl Spence, it doesn't make any sense, ladies and gentlemen. So when it comes to Earl Spence being the A-side controlling what's going on, he don't like it, fam. He don't like it. So he put a thousand things and a thousand, you know what I'm saying, obstacles in the way of making this fight 
because he really don't want the fight because he understands that if Earl Spence put them hands on him and Earl Spence beats him and beat him in impressive fashion, what is it going to do for EJ, bro? He knows what that's going to do for EJ. You feel me? Now he's taking the advice of Floyd Money Mayweather. We all know he has a little biasness towards Earl Spence. He ain't going to say it, but he do. After Earl Spence put them paws on him in the sparring session, and Earl got the groin, the groin, the groin. We know he got a little bias towards Earl Spence, especially after losing Javante Tank Davis. You feel me? So we know Floyd ain't, you know what I mean? Everybody look at Floyd. Oh, man, we love Floyd. Floyd this. Floyd want this person to do this. Floyd want, nah, man, Floyd ass got some little hate in him as well. He got some little haters in, in him as well, especially with Earl Spence being the next big thing at the fucking PBC right after him running the show. You know what I'm saying? So when it come down to the situation, fam, Terrence Crawford is hiding behind Floyd Money Mayweather. I repeat, Terrence Crawford is hiding behind Floyd Money Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather want to do some things with Terrence Crawford before he fight Earl Spence that he feel like that's going to big him up, that's going to make him a bigger star than what he is right now. That way, when he come back to the table with Earl the True Spence Jr., he can try to negotiate for more money or possibly negotiate for the most money because he feel like he's going to put him in a better position than what he's in now. You understand what I'm saying? He going to put him in a better position um, than what he, he's in now. We all know the situation that happened with Terrence Bo Crawford being with Bob Irm, how that fell apart. We know Floyd Money Mayweather was with Bob Irm. We know that fell apart. Um, Mayweather had to buy Seth out his contract. Then come on over to Al Heyman. So he looking at Terrence Crawford like when he said, oh, Terrence Crawford remind me of myself. Everybody remind him of you, Floyd. You say everybody. You said Earl Spence reminds um, himself of you. You said Tank Davis reminds himself of you. You say Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, every goddamn fighter that comes through Jerron Booth's in is now. Every fighter that comes through, they got some skills that look like they're going to be a star, look like they can be something special. They remind you of Floyd Money, the young Floyd Money Mayweather, bro. Everybody can't be no goddamn young Floyd Money Mayweather. Let's just be real. <laughs> Let's just be real, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody can't be Floyd Money Mayweather. That's just real talk. You know, so when Floyd see these dudes, he want to latch on to them and grab them up. You know what I'm saying? And it helped fuck the fight up. It really did. It helped destroy the fight, bro, at the end of the day. You feel me? So Earl Spence need to let Floyd Mayweather know, get your little bitty short ass up out the way, man. Get up out the way, bro. Get up out of my business. You feel me? Get up out of my business, fam, because we know what you're doing. We know what you're doing, homie. You out here, you trying to destroy this fight. You want to control everything. You want to be in the spotlight. <laughs> you feel me? How about you tell Terrence Boyd Crawford quit being a ducker, right? Quit being a sucker. Sign a contract and get in the ring with me because next time I swing the block on him, and I'm going to swing the block on him, right? We go see. We go see if he really want this smoke. We're going to see. Unless he sit down and just continue to listen to you and you just try to tell a man about, listen, man, you can make smart investments. You don't got to do this. You don't got to do that. You ain't got to fight Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? Work smarter, not harder. You know how Floyd talk. Oh, we got to work smarter, not harder. You feel me? Which ain't nothing wrong with it. But when it come down to this biggest fight in boxing, fam, that everybody wants, the boxing game wants, the fan wants, the boxers want it. Everybody want Earl the True Spence Jr. versus turns Bill Crawford at the welterweight division for undisputed undisputed you feel me it gets no bigger it gets no bigger than undisputed at the division man it don't so when you have early true spence jr trying to get this fight with terrence crawford and he's saying oh it's because of transparency oh it's because they pushed the date this way they did that negative man it's because this dude went and took the advice of floyd money mayweather bro now watch he be ready around the the, the fall time Terrence Crawford, there he is. Watch him come out get the talking crap around the fall time. But we're going to see if he keep that same energy. We're going to see if he keep that same energy. You know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather trying to play both sides here. He trying to play both sides here. Telling people, oh, man, you know the fight ain't going to be announced until I say it's going to be announced. This, that, and the third. That, and this, and the third. We know Terrence Crawford, he want to go out there and try to shop the fight to different investors and things of that nature. Him and Floyd Mayweather working hand in hand. We know Floyd helping you out. We know Floyd helping you out. You did. So when we look at this situation, fam, we have to be more smart. We have to be more realistic. We have to be more smart and we have to be more realistic, fam. If Terrence Boy Crawford really wanted this fight with Earl Spence, he would have signed a contract. He would have made it happen. 
Bud won't be talking about, oh, you know, I, I heard this from PBC fighters and this PBC fighter. People I really like to think as, as a friend. No, we are friends. He been talking to Floyd Mayweather every day. So who else could he be talking to that's giving him this, that, and the third? You feel me? At the end of the day, he need to be realistic with himself. He need to have confidence in himself like he try to talk like he got, right? Quit taking that advice from Floyd Mayweather and get his ass in the ring and fight Earl Spence. Get in the ring and fight Earl Spence, bro. That's the fight that everybody wants. That's the fight that everybody wants. Quit letting Floyd Mayweather tell you what to do. Quit hiding behind Floyd Mayweather and give Earl Spence what he deserves. An opportunity at greatness. Just like Earl Spence giving you an opportunity at greatness, fam. Everybody want to see that fight. We need that fight. It's a, it's a fight for the sport of boxing. It's a fight for the fans. It's a fight for you guys and the legacy. You know what I'm saying? And it's a fight to help out the youngsters that's coming up behind y'all to see this how you do it, man. Get in the ring of your prime. Get it on. Let the whoever win become the winner. But this is how you grow the sport of boxing and keep it irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? Keep it irrelevant. The big dogs fight the big dogs. Period, fam. Turns Bud Crawford. Quit listening to Floyd Money Mayweather. Floyd Money Mayweather. Tell Turns Bud Crawford to stop hiding behind you. Bring his ass to the front. After Earl Spence have this fight that he fit to have, stay right there if he a man or get a fight from January to June. And then when Earl Spence offer him the opportunity again, sign that contract. Sign that contract and stop ducking. Flat out. Shouts out to ESJ for being a real one trying to give us the biggest fight in boxing. Salute to you, King. And today, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want to donate OG Money on Cash App? Trey Hot 52 at gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.